A historic landmark destined to dance its way back into the limelight is one step closer to the dream. Now, the difference in news and information on the air and on the web. This is today's THV at 530. Well, an effort to revive a historic landmark in Little Rock moves one step closer to reality. The Dreamland Ballroom was once the epicenter of the black community on 9th Street. The state has granted nonprofit status to the group working on the restoration. And THV's Faith Abube is in the Information Center with details on the project. Faith? Ashley, the Dreamland Ballroom is, the, is on the top floor of the 91-year-old Taborian Hall. In its heyday in the 50s and 60s, musicians like Duke Ellington, Etta James, and Nat King Cole played there. And people here in Little Rock often rented it for socials and other community events. But all that ended in the 70s, and ever since, the ballroom has sat empty and decaying. The bustling sounds that once filled the Taborian Hall have died down. Downstairs, Carrie McCoy uses the old store spaces for her flag and banner business. But the top floor's Dreamland ballroom now sits quietly with no semblance of its former glory. Got to put down new floors, got to put uh, legs under those balconies. But the big thing that I've got to do is put in an elevator and an extra set of fire stairs, and that's the, that's the most of the money. McCoy bought the building in 1992 and thought she could renovate it by 2000 and open it to the public. But it's a bigger venture than she anticipated. Last year, I finally got all the architectural plans done, all the engineering plans done, got approval from the city, went to the bank. It turned out to be over a million dollars to renovate the building. And there's just no way that I could do that. But she hasn't given up yet. She's working with a group of 10 volunteers who want to make sure the city doesn't lose the ballroom to time and decay. The hall, located here on the corner of 9th and State Streets, is the only remaining historic building that bears testimony of what used to be called Little Rock's Little Harlem. Some people suggest McCoy turn it into apartments or a restaurant, but her only goal is to make it an event center which doubles as a museum and an educational facility. She says out-of-towners come every week for tours of the old ballroom, and that only reinforces why she wants the renovations done. It is a jewel in the crown of Little Rock, Arkansas, and we need to make sure that we preserve it and keep it. Next for McCoy is fundraising. She's planning the first event for October 2010. Renovations should start in 2011. And Ashley, the place should be open to the public by 2012. All right, Faith, looking forward to it. Thank you. You can track the progress on the project on the Dreamland Ballroom website. There is also a book being written about the history of the place. You can visit todaysthv.com and click on the story for a link. Now, all of your news and weather in the first 11 minutes. This is 11 on 11. The THV 10 o'clock difference. In other news, the owner of a historic building in Little Rock is working to restore it. We're going to make it into a museum and an education facility. Every week, somebody comes to town and wants to tour the Dreamland Ballroom. There is so much black history and roots about the Dreamland Ballroom. The Dreamland served as the hub for the black community in the 1960s and 70s. A long list of great musicians like B.B. King and Nat King Cole performed there. The cost of the project is estimated over a million dollars. Learn more about the renovation in the story at todaysthv.com.